brim with tactical potential and what's not filled to the brim. Look at Magnus's clock. He is again down two minutes and the position is just getting more and more out of hand. It is. He's just allowing... Night at oh four. Gosh, night at four. He's blunder night at four and it's mate. Yeah, Hikar sees it. He's like, Hikar can't believe it. He looked at the this screen. Is, this is basic Brian, Robert. This is an idea that occurs across all openings. This is universal. And you can't step back to the first rank because of Rook C1 with mate. It's over. Yeah, no, Hikaru saw it, and look at him. He's like, are you serious? Am I really playing Magnus? This is all you got, he says to Magnus. He's going to be up four points, and Magnus has got a match on his hands, doesn't he? Oh, a match. I mean, he's going to have to work hard to stay in Rook this C1, match. Queen H3. Point. Oh, look mate. at that mate. Yeah. Oh, Done. It's over. Pack Hikaru your Nakamura. bags. Six to two. And you know what Hikaru's face said? It was the double question mark. Like you saw it in his eyes. He's like, is, is this really Magnus Carlsen? Or is this an imposter? Uh, this isn't Among Us. You got to play chess. And right now, Magnus Carlsen is down 6-2, to two, Danya. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. He's under Magnus's skin. He is filled with confidence. He believes right now, does he, Karo Nakamura, that he can win every single game in this match. It's like what basketball players talk about when they start hitting shots. The net is as wide as the ocean right now for Hikaru Nakamura, and that is a terrifying prospect for Magnus. He's down by four. This is the final game of the five-minute portion, and once again, Carlson going for a very tactical opening. And look at Hikaru. He meets him at the top. He says, you want a night off? I'll give you a night off. I'll give you the sharpest night off because I want to win this game.